What's up, guys? It is Sunday, November 12th, 2017. I'm not recording on Tuesday this week just because there's not really anything coming out that really warrants me making a video for. I think the biggest title coming out this week is Atomic Blonde, and uh, I haven't seen Atomic Blonde, um, but I've heard a lot of good things about it. But I really don't feel like Atomic Blonde is a movie that I have to run out and, you know, pay full price for. That's a movie that, you know, I want to see. I haven't seen it yet, but uh, I think I can wait for the price to drop, you know, maybe even pick up a used copy down the line. So uh, I really don't feel like that deserved, you know, a video on its own. Um, I'm going to head into stores today like Savers, you know, see if there's anything in there pretty cheap that's, you know, good, out of print. Something that I've been looking for for a while, just haven't picked up. And uh, I think maybe head to Walmart and see what their uh, Christmas movie selection looks like. You know, maybe get in the holiday season a little bit earlier this year. So let's head, in, ugh, hot on. <laughs> let's head on into Savers and uh, see if there's anything in there. Eh, not really seeing anything, it's just kind of the generic crap you kind of see all over the place. I'm not really sure if I'm going to pick anything up here. I don't know, I'll scan through it a little bit, see if there's anything worth my while. Revenant, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's just this, no price tag. I'll have to see how much they're asking for. See, you gotta, you gotta really look when you're in these aisles, because sometimes... Sometimes you can find gold pretty cheap here. Like Shadows VHSs, man, that's pretty cool. Harvest Commons right there. Let's see something. 8764. What is this one? Volume 4. That is cool, man. Dark Shadows was a pretty cool show back in the day. I actually have the complete box set, like the coffin set. Look at that, that is cool, man. stuff. Best of Dark Shadows right here. That is cool. I only ended up grabbing one thing in there, and that is the Revenant on Blu-ray. The case has a little bit of wear on it. I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, the disc is in perfect condition. $3.99. How do you say no? I thought the Revenant was just a little overrated, but I enjoyed it. Definitely worth having in the collection, especially for $3.99. I'm sorry, it was $2.99, so three bucks all day long. Uh, yeah, those Dark Shadows VHSs, man, those were pretty cool, but it's like I said, I've got the, the coffin box set at home, uh, you know, the complete series, so, you know, it's always cool seeing stuff like that. I mean, not worth buying, in my opinion. Um, I don't know, maybe if I had a few bucks to throw around, I would have picked one up, but uh, yeah, I didn't feel the need to pick it up. It was definitely cool seeing those, though. And with that being said, I'm outside of Walmart right now, so let's head on inside and see what we can find. I hope this isn't all they have, because this is a god-awful selection. Yeah, that's definitely a little better. Planes, trains, and automobiles, man. I'd definitely pick that up if they had the Blu-ray. <laughs> Jingle all the way. It is an absolute trash movie, but I get a kick out of it. I have to say, I was mildly pleasantly surprised with the uh, the titles that Walmart had for the Christmas selection. Um, you know, I wish uh, most of those titles were on Blu-ray, like Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. If that was on Blu-ray, I would have bought that all day long. But the, uh, the selection overall wasn't that bad. I have a feeling, though, the closer we get to Christmas, their selection will improve. Um, Best Buy, they usually have a, a pretty decent holiday spread around the Christmas season. So uh, I might have to check that out maybe later this week or maybe next week. But anyway, moving on. First up, I picked up Jingle All the Way. It's like I said, this movie is absolutely ridiculous. But Arnold is absolutely hysterical in this movie. Uh, I'm sure you know the plot, you know. Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sinbad, they're two fathers that want to get the Turbo Man doll. Like, Turbo Man is, uh, like, the hot toy that's come out that year for uh, Christmas. And, you know, all the kids want a Turbo Man doll. And these two guys are going head-to-head -head trying to get one. And uh, it's just absolutely ridiculous. It's a bad movie. Let's not beat around the bush. This is just a bad movie. But, um, you know, it's so ridiculous that you can have a blast with it. You know, definitely have some spiked eggnog or something while you're watching this. And, you know, leave your brain at the door. You'll have a good time. There's one scene in particular, though, where, like, Arnold and Sinbad are running through this store trying to get the Turbo Man. I think Arnold has it in his hand, and uh, Sinbad falls in the store. I think, I don't know, it's this ridiculous chase scene in this stupid, like, Walmart-type store, 
and uh, Sinbad falls, and Arnold stops. It's a close-up on him, and he just <laughs> looks at him and says, Oh, poor baby, and he just runs off. It's the funniest part in the entire movie, and probably one of the funniest things that Arnold Schwarzenegger has ever done on screen. Then I picked up one Blu-ray, and that is How the Grinch Stole Christmas. That glare is terrible. Um, you know, when I was a kid, I didn't care for this movie at all. Uh, you know, I saw it like once or twice when I was a kid, and I just really didn't like it. But, um, you know, the older I got, I ended up seeing it a few more times. And, you know, I ended up growing an appreciation for it. I'm not saying it's my favorite Christmas movie, but it's definitely one that, you know, you watch around the Christmas time. It just makes it feel like Christmas. You know, it actually kind of warms your heart a little bit, too. So, yeah, you know, The Grinch... Wasn't really a fan of it as a kid, but now I am a fan of How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Um, off topic, uh, you know, freaking Emma, you know, every time she sees a picture of Stephen King, she always says he looks like a who from the Grinch. And, you know, as a Stephen King fan, you know, you just want to say, oh, come on, stop. But, uh, you know, she's not too far off. Then I picked something else up while I was out and about, and that is a magazine dedicated to the Justice League movie. Look at that picture. That is absolutely gorgeous. I just wish Superman was in that picture, but you know, he's dead. Um, but if Superman was in that picture, that would make one hell of a picture. Uh, I wonder if that's going to be like the, the Blu-ray cover when it gets released on Blu-ray. Uh, that would be pretty cool. I cannot wait for Justice League anymore. I'm a huge DC fan. Um, you know, I'm just a little kid again, you know, I'm that little boy that was running into the living room to watch Batman the Animated Series, Superman the Animated Series, Justice League, I'm a kid again. You know, thank God we had a summer movie season where there was just nothing but, you know, great movies coming out every month. It seemed like every other week at one point, but uh, now that Justice League is around the corner, I am just, you know, I feel like I'm going to burst with excitement, man. I, I can't wait anymore. Um, I'm really pumped up, too, because the early reactions for Justice League have been mostly positive. There are a couple mixed reactions in there, um, one or two really bad reactions, but for the most part it's all positive. So I have a feeling that Justice League is going to get like a 65 to somewhere in the 70% range on Rotten Tomatoes, and you know something, even if it's like a total bomb on Rotten Tomatoes, I really don't care, I'm going to see this movie either way. Um, I really don't go by what Rotten Tomatoes says, because half the movies I own, half the movies I love have crap scores on Rotten Tomatoes. Um, you know, a good amount of the movies that I have and love have you know, good scores on Rotten Tomatoes, but who cares what they have to say, man? I mean, it, it's just a bunch of critics, you know, they take, you know, whether they liked it or not and make a percentage. I mean, it, it doesn't matter. There are plenty more film-going audience members than there are movie critics. Um, and that's the thing. You know, movie is subjective, like John Campia says. Everybody has a different opinion, and that's totally fine. Um, I love Man of Steel. I love Batman v Superman, and that has a bad rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Um, I wasn't too crazy about Suicide Squad. I liked it. Um, I think the fatal flaw with that movie is they shouldn't have advertised the Joker at all. They should have just kept him a secret. You know, don't let us know that he's in there. Um, it would have done without the tattoos and all that. I wasn't too crazy about that. Uh, but they marketed him pretty heavy in the Suicide Squad trailers and posters, like he was like going to be like this main character, like he was going to be the bad guy of the movie. And I think that was a mistake. Um, Jared Leto is an actor. I think he's a really good actor. And I think had he been given better material, he would have done a great job as the Joker. But the, with the material he was given, you know, it's really hard to tell. Um, I'm really open-minded to seeing him come back with more material that he can work with. Uh, Wonder Woman, obviously, great movie. Um, I haven't really heard many people that have uh, complained about that one. I'm actually going to try and binge a few of those tonight, you know, just, you know, the road leading up to Justice League. Can't wait. Anyway, moving on, I've talked about this longer than I anticipated. And then the final item I picked up, I was actually in Bull Moose. I don't know why I didn't record, but uh, me and Emma were browsing around and I found the LP soundtrack of it. I absolutely loved this movie. That is no surprise to you guys, to all the balloons there. You can see Pennywise kind of peeking out. Really cool. I really enjoyed the soundtrack to this movie. I, I downloaded it off the uh, Apple Music app and I uh, really got a chance to listen to it right around the Halloween season. I really liked the soundtrack. I thought it was pretty good. Um, you know, I, I just think that this is a really cool display piece. I mean, you get all the kids on the back in the mist with Pennywise in the middle. And then if you open it up, you know, you got the classic shot of, you know, Georgie looking up at Pennywise the Clown, who's holding out a balloon to him. And then you have uh, Andy Muschietti, who wrote something about the soundtrack, and, you know, the movie right there. And then the composer, I forget what his name is, uh, also wrote something, too. 
Um, so that's pretty cool, man. I mean, this is just an awesome display piece. Might throw it around, you know, every Halloween season. Ugh, throw it around. I might throw, put it on, um, you know, during the Halloween season for years to come. That is cool stuff right there. So, yeah, that's uh, all the goodies I bought today. Um, again, nothing coming out on Tuesday that really warrants me running out and buying anything or making a video. Um, so that's going to do it for this video. So if you guys have liked what you've seen here, you want to see more, hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you next time.